uh, it will be a merger it won't, I don't need to do a takeover merger is fine um, and we will keep the super um, super CEO uh, all of this is absolutely fine so we'll do that Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Plutocracy. We're here in our beautiful office once again, looking out of the window on a rainy day in May. Um, we're currently playing challenge mode, that's right. We've we've been issued a challenge by the game, and that challenge is to um, follow in Rockefeller's footsteps, essentially. Uh, we've already made our fortune. We, we're worth $1 billion dollars which is what that that has to be um the next thing that we have to do is control 80 percent of the oil production market by 1897 well it's 1881 um and we currently own 31.6 percent of oil oil production all oil production <laughs> um so we're getting there we're not quite there yet but we are well on our way and uh at the moment uh monopolies aren't restricted but that could happen at any time. So if that happens, we just need to be ready to go in and try and repel that law. But we have uh, we have some time available to us to uh, to control 80% of the uh, oil production, and that's exactly what we're going to try and do. So we're doing quite well at the moment. Uh, if we have a look at our our position in the world, um, now this might have changed. Because I'm, I'm not entirely entirely sure, but uh, can we? If we just sort wealth, nah, uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. So it hasn't changed. We are we are the wealthiest person in the in the country by a by quite some margin. So, so we, we currently have a wealth of 4.13 billion dollars, um, and it looks like the next wealthiest person has 697 mil. So we're we're doing pretty well. We're doing okay for ourselves. Um, like I said, we have uh, we we have most of well not 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 most of. We currently have all of Pennsylvania under our control, uh, which is pretty amazing. Uh, there's a lot of oil companies in in Pennsylvania, and what we need to do now is using our vast amount of wealth. Uh, we need to start traveling the country uh, if I use this map traveling the country and buying up all of the other oil production companies so this uh, this filter here shows me where all the oil production companies are we're currently based uh, here in Pennsylvania we, we own all of the oil in Pennsylvania um, yeah and I just need to start going to these other states and just buying up the oil production um, the the greener the state the more oil production I believe so it looks like California here has quite a lot of oil production but uh, uh, Michigan here probably not not so much um, I might just go to go to the neighboring states first off um, and just try and buy up the oil production in in the neighboring state that might be uh, my way to go this is the first time we've ever left the state um, I did buy an office so that we can keep in uh, keep on top of what's going on there but I want to mosey on over to uh, to another state. Um, do I want to change the work plan? No, I do not. Thank you. Um, yeah, and we'll just uh, we'll jump in and we'll see what's going on. So there are one, two, three, four, four oil companies, which I think you know that there are loads. There are ruddy loads of oil oil production companies and it looks like there is a 1.7 billion dollar oil production company which is quite quite a big one uh, so that one's going to be pretty uh pretty challenging to uh to buy up um yeah that that one's going to take a bit of work uh but we want to use our our main oil company in order to do it so if I go back to the map and we have a look here our main oil company is currently worth 2.38 bill and it has how much do we have in reserve currently we have 589 uh, million in reserve um, which is great <laughs> uh, but this is this is gonna 
uh, Stonefall of Trust PA1, which is the such a such a nice named uh, oil company, is going to be our uh, flagship, and that's going to control all of the companies beneath it. It looks like we haven't added Artist Oil yet to our trust, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, and we'll jump it into the cartel as well, which is very nice indeed. Um, yeah, everything else I think is in the trust and the cartel. So we need to start buying up the uh, oil companies in New York, and I don't know whether to start with the bigger uh, bigger companies um, and work our way down, or to uh, or to to start with the smaller companies and work our way up. Um, technically speaking, I guess if we start with the smaller companies, we should should be able to buy them out a bit quicker. Uh, there are, there's a lot of oil production companies. Uh, in the state, which is which is crazy, but I guess I guess I'll, ju I'll just start. So we have we, we have five hundred million in our main company. So technically speaking, we should be able to buy out pretty much everything, other than the the top oil producer, pretty easily. So I think I'll just I think I'll just start. And uh, and I'll see how I get on. That's uh, one deal done, ten percent. Okay, that's another deal done, fifty percent, and that's our final deal done. So we now uh, own a hundred percent in uh, Bailey Oil, which is absolutely fantastic. What we can do now that we own uh, Bailey Oil is that we can add them into the trust, uh, which will do really well for them, and we can also include them in the cartel which let's let's check this before before we do anything currently they've, they've got an income of 31,000 uh, which isn't amazing by any by any means uh, we plump them into the cartel and then yeah 373,000 that's a that's a big increase isn't it let's uh, let's up this work plan as well absolutely fantastic um, and then we will I I guess I want to pay some into reserve but not much so let's just dividends at 90% let's do that very good and there is money in reserve at the moment um, shall I just go for an expansion I may as well build an expansion uh, well we can so that's one <laughs> <laughs> um, now for the next one okay that's the first deal at 26% so that's the second deal taking us to 45% and that's our final deal putting us at 100% of King Oil so very good indeed um, so we'll do the same with King Oil we will uh, pop them into the trust yes of course I'm going to vote for that we'll pop them into the cartel as well very nice and then we'll head over to the stats uh, screen and we'll increase that work plan um, to where it needs to be. And I'll, I, uh, I'll upgrade the dividend rate as well up to 90%, which is very nice. And then check in the reserve. Um, yeah, well, I mean, considering where the reserve is at, I may as well go for a big building uh, just for now. Get that one built. And while all that's going on, Let's buy this Chinese vase or vase, depending on where you're from and how you like to talk about places that you put flowers. There we go. That's another collectible for our collection. So now that we've bought a Stonefaller Trust NY2, or the, the second one, we're going to move up to Grey and Partners and, uh, and start buying this one out. So we just got Wishmaker 50 out of 50 achievement, which is handy. Uh, we got this for uh, issuing a loan to uh, to this character here. Um, we took a reputation hit during our deals, so I just did a quick uh, quick loan just to up, up our up our rep again, and that has given us Wishmaster. So that's another another star to spend at the bookcase. Um, Oh, would you look at that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think the only things we can spend our stars on are uh, politics now. 
Um, I, I still don't know what the best ones to go for are. Uh, so I'm probably just not going to bother <laughs> yet. Um, hmm. I suppose there's only uh, a certain number of books left anyway. But um, that's fine. I'll wait. I think that's probably the best option. Okay, so that's 100% uh, of the share in Grey and Partners. Uh, again, we're going to bung that into the uh, into the trust, into the cartel. And uh, we'll go to the statistics pane and upgrade the work plan and the dividend rate. And we'll probably also build a big building because of the... Uh, because of the amount of money that's in reserve, which is quite a lot. So yeah, we'll go for an expansion. Eventually I'll merge all of these companies together as well, but not quite. The other thing I'm gonna do, which I'm pretty sure you know, is I'm gonna buy something <laughs> at the auction house. I'm gonna go and buy this sparkling wine, paper heads. Um, absolutely amazing. Oh, we're the richest person here, well, the richest person in the country, so nobody's gonna be able to outbid us. Unless they had more cash on hand, I, I would concede that. We only need one more um, one more in the cigarettes and alcohol, or alcohol and cigars uh, category, um, to complete our collection here, so that's really good. But likewise, we only need one more weapon. So we are, we are we're getting there in terms of getting a, com a complete collection. So very exciting indeed. Okay, so that's, uh, so that's Stonefall of Trust N4, or uh, I don't know what the company was called. Uh, but that's another company added to our uh, to our trust and to our cartel. I think we added it to the cartel. Yeah, we did. Um, and that's that's bringing in more income. We also did a company expansion. Uh, so that's that's another one of the companies in this state. We've only got a few more left, so we'll just keep going. Right, and that's Bennett and Partners also added into our control. So again, I'm going to chuck them into the trust. Uh, do a bit of sneaky cartel action and go over to the good old statistics screen and just make sure that work plans up and that we have a decent dividend rate. I think these companies have got a lot of cash in reserve uh, so we can also go for big buildings or we'll go for some expansion um, before we finally go for a merger a bit later on. Okay and then that's point blank ink added to the fold. Okay, so what I've done is I've just issued a bunch of shares uh, to Stonefall Trust PA1 and transferred. So I had 400 mil in my um, account, I suppose. Uh, I've transferred that over. I've issued shares so that I could transfer uh, that over into the reserve for Stonefall Trust PA1. Um, that's so that uh, I can make a bigger dent into the billion dollar company when I start going uh, trying to buy that one out. Um, it has increased like the overall size or whatever of this company. So this company is now worth 3.6 bill. Um, so that's that's a, a very chunky company now. Um, but we've got we've got some uh, big companies here to deal with now. We've got um, uh, this one here, which is 1.79 bill, and this one, which is 203 mil. This one should be a bit a bit easier to get through. All right, there's 10 10 people here to talk to. But then uh, up here, Tenant Inc, that's going to take a bit more work. So um, we'll start with this one. And then when it comes to Tenant Inc, we might have to do some shenanigans, let's say. Okay, okay. So that's another company uh, under our wing. Uh, so again, shove it in the trust. Uh, do some sneaky cartel operations. And uh, yeah, set things up for success. I'm not going to micromanage this too much. Um, we did we did do a big uh, uh, issue, n not issue, a big buyback of shares with this one, uh, and that did take a lot of the, the company's reserve. So we won't be able to do any um, any expansion in this one just yet. But uh, it's making a decent amount of cash, uh, and we we got some good deals there. So, so back at Stonefall of Trust PA1, uh, we can see actually that the market cap has fallen somewhat. Um, as we've been buying uh, shares in other companies and stuff like that uh, and there has been a fall in the stock exchange price um, but nothing really to worry about we are uh, spending spending money in reserve as we continue to make these big buildings um, but yes yeah, we've uh, we've got 739 mil in reserve at the moment 
uh, and that is going to go some way to helping us buy the big company uh, in the state which is the tenant inc so this is the one we need to make some some big headway into and it might be a little bit complicated what i'm going to do at least is uh, allow the uh, allow the game to tick over into the next quarter get a bit more money in before we uh, before we go ahead and tackle this behemoth okay so a bit more cash in anyway we're now at uh, 201 mil and if we take a look at our always oh, forgetting that's map doesn't work anymore uh, taking a look here market cap has gone up on there and that's got a nice tidy 800 mil in the bank which is absolutely fantastic um, so I think dividend payments yeah 63 mil so yeah very very good indeed so let's uh, let's go and have a look at the uh, the big the big boy um, Tenant Inc. So I'm willing to bet that this this look at, look at how many rich people this company has made. <laughs> um, I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that this company has got a ton of cash in reserve. So let's let's have a look. I'm going to do something a bit cheeky. I'm going to buy a single share. Um, yeah, putting a single share on the books. It looks like there's been a big uh, price decrease. And so this is a good time to buy. But that allows us to uh, have a look at the books. And we, yeah, we can see 727 mil in reserve. That is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, lots of cash in reserve, which I think is the only thing that's keeping this company actually... Uh, up there as a behemoth is just the amount of amount of money there is which is interesting in of itself but a lot of money in reserve means it can survive a strike <laughs> so the the expenses 77.6 mil easily the reserves can eat that up um, if, if there is a strike so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna use an agent and we're gonna go and use a provocation uh, so we're going to try and get the provoker to start a strike um, at this company, uh, and we'll see we'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, I think there's a 70% chance of success, and any sort of so uh, well at the moment, stock exchange price 1.66k. We're hoping for that to fall drastically, um, and with any luck, uh, when the when the strike kicks in, it will. Uh, we can then also possibly try and manipulate the stock prices to get this down even further but let's start with this and let's see if we can get a success okay so they say they don't want to strike but it's happening very good indeed so hey look at that one 1 1.67 that's um that's that's higher right <laughs> not not exactly sure but let's uh let's have a look at the stock exchange price for tenant and we're waiting for this to uh, to collapse now. Uh, there, okay. It's gone to 1.5k, so that has fallen. And then let's see if we can get a another agent involved, and we'll see if we can do some exchange fraud to, to decrease the price. Just something I always love doing. Oh, no. he hasn't succeeded has ruined our reputation we can try again in october so that's unfortunate what i will do in the meanwhile is i'll see if i can fulfill some of his ambition this guy wants a small loan let's give him a loan and then uh, i'll get a hat back for that very nice um okay so we're, we're not able to do any exchange fraud but we have reduced the asking price there I'm going to take a short break to buy this zebra head. Um, such a such a handsome zebra. Look at the way he's looking at you. <laughs> um, great. So we've got another another animal bit in our in our collection. Um, yeah, let's go back to uh, let's go back to this big old uh, to this big old company here. There is a strike now. I guess I guess we should um, strike while the iron's hot as it were and just try and get as much of the company as we can uh, 
it might be worth us actually starting with one of these people and just seeing what we can what we can do so I'm gonna do it for a company um, it's gonna cost us a lot a lot of cash no matter what we do uh, but we just have to try and get a good deal now hopefully we should be able to do that um, I might insist on the price I think this guy was calm so if things do go south it doesn't really matter but they should have quite a swing and there isn't that's kind of awkward <laughs> okay um, well nothing's gonna happen so we need to wait we, we will have to wait for that guy um, chose him specifically because he's calm uh, this person here is calm as well so let's maybe try them they well they're fearless but that shouldn't affect the quality of a deal that we can make start the negotiations um, okay We're getting there uh, I will insist uh, just to see what happens mm, that's a big risk of uh, irritation we might not be okay it's below asking price so I'll agree to that that was a big deal in of itself that was 252 mil um, yeah so <laughs> wow <laughs> a lot of, a lot of uh, waste there um, right who can we target next so this guy is cheaper and this person's calm uh, might be worth going after these. I do kind of want to buy, just buy a big chunk of the company. I mean, we we have a big chunk already. We've got 18%, so that isn't bad at all. We are the largest shareholder. Um, Stock Exchange has got more, but we are the largest shareholder at the moment. And this person also has a, a, a broken money box, but they've got this aggressive trait. Let's, let's go for it. Uh, this is going to be, again, an expensive... An expensive deal uh, which we want to try and achieve um, okay that's not going too bad I'll go for a compromise again as long as we can get below asking price which we have that's very good indeed so that's 32 percent again this is a very big company that we're trying to buy into and let's just double check as well what we've got left to play with in the in our coffers so 388 mil so it's going to take some time for us to actually be able to uh, to continue buying this one um, that's why we want to do bit, little bits of shenanigans like get a strike going again I do wonder if it's worth waiting for the next quarter uh, just to see if we can you know uh, save a bit more money if the strike continues um, it's tempting. It's very tempting. What I might, <sighs> hmm, because I, yeah, I want to spend money with one of these uh, these people. Alcoholic. What's this? Alarmist. This could this could go any any which way. So let's. Um, oh, this is what I want to buy. Let's get that right. Sometimes when they've got multiple companies, it's uh, it's. A little harder to remember but let's just see what we can do with this negotiation um, he's erratic so anything could happen we will go for a compromise I feel like I was feeling confident but when you're dealing with an erratic person yeah you just never know what's gonna happen so um, we'll end out of that one and maybe we'll risk a uh, yeah we've irritated them but that's fine because we've got plenty of uh, wiggle room um I, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna wait for the for the strike to uh, continue and see if that damages the stock price any further um, and then also how long do I have to wait before I can do exchange for all October 18th oh an entire year. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. I could sabotage, but that would reduce the number of workspaces and I don't need to do that. Let's uh, let's wait. And we've got the chance to hire additional security. Um, 
I think I'm going to go for this. It's going to cost us more money. And there's a possibility that um, it will mean there's no robbery risk. Uh, but it will also increase our renown, which is always good. And there we go. It's We've got no robbery risk. It does increase our, our costs by quite, quite a bit. But um, yeah, it gives us a big jump in renown as well, which is always nice. And we've also got an achievement here. Influence top rating, I think, because our renown jumped. So very nice indeed. And the flowing hair silver dollar is available at auction. And you better believe I'm going to do that. So over to Agatha's we go. I'm going to make a bid before I forget. It's an easy thing to do. And uh, yeah, it looks like we have the flowing hair silver dollar. Which is great because we, we didn't have too many coins. But now we only need three more. So I was just thinking about our um, influence stars here. And if I'm not mistaken... It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five books uh, to get everything to level two. Uh, and six books to get everything to level two, I suppose. Yeah, six books to get everything to level two. We've got eight stars. So I may as well uh, go and get everything everything to level two. Um, why not? And then we've got another, uh, we've got three stars out of the, well, what's that, one, two, three, four, five that we need in order to get politics right up. So I'm going to keep these these three stars now until I definitely need them. Um, but I thought, yeah, I may as well put some of those stars in so that if we ever do any more politics stuff, then we're well on the way. Okay, so the quarter has ended. Uh, we now have 417 mil in the bank, personally. In terms of our main company, um, we can have a look now just so that we know what we're dealing with. Uh, and that's 462 mil, which isn't too bad. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and have a look at that behemoth um, in Tenant Inc. So the strike is still on. So the... <laughs> I was hoping the stock exchange price would have fallen, but it hasn't, which is kind of annoying. Does that mean the is the strike ended or something? Well, it doesn't say that it's ended. But let's have a look at the... Um, can I not click through to the stock exchange from here anymore? Apparently not. Let's go here. So, yeah, there was just a big... A big jump in in the stock price at the end of the quarter which is kind of annoying it makes me feel like I should have taken more advantage of uh, of that but no worry uh, what we'll do is we'll just we'll just continue to buy as much as we can um, okay where should we where should we go let's start with this guy uh, or we'll try again with this guy. So we've got about 400 mil to spend. This currently would cost us 283 mil. So we need to try and get him down a bit if we can. In terms of the price. Um, I'll, I'll go for an insist. This is one of the ones that could have gone badly. But this is actually really good for us. Only 92.3 mil now. So that is a very big deal for us. 42.9% discount. Very happy with that. And we get to increase our reputation because that guy wanted to sell. Um, okay, so we've still got, what, 300, 300 mil to spend, I suppose? 370 mil. Okay. Still, still stuff to go. I might stop that from continuously expanding for a short while. And I do wonder if it's time to time to do some merging in this in this uh, in this state. Let's check our companies and just make sure nothing's expanding though uh, in terms of our oil production. Uh, where are we? One, two, three. There are so many, aren't there? So yeah, I'm gonna uh, turn these off. I'll let them all finish their current bout of expansion. And then we will, um, did I do six? I did six. Okay. 
Um, six, two. Next one's two. That isn't expanding. No, this. Oh no, that's a banking trust anyway, so that doesn't matter. Uh, that one's not expanding. Is this one expanding? Nope. That's fine. That one's fine. And then finally, this one here, which isn't expanding either. Good stuff. Um, yeah, so when uh, when this one finishes expanding, so that's May 17th. And what was the other one that was expanding? Was it this one? No. Uh, this one, PA7. No. Oh my goodness, PA6. It was PA6, right? Yeah. Okay, so after September 14th, we can merge all of our um, oil companies in this state and just have one behemoth. And I think that's almost definitely what I'll do. Because we, we do have uh, uh, money in reserve in the other uh, places as well. And also, we're paying how many... Look at this. I need to increase this work plan. <laughs> um, and at that dividend rate as well. We have how many different CEOs that we're employing when I could just be the single CEO for all of these companies. So uh, yeah, we need to we need to address that. But I guess we need to wait until September to properly do that. But we have uh, look looks like the strike's over. We have uh, three hundred and seventy mil to spend. Um, I'm probably going to go after the cheaper people at the moment just to see if we can get a good deal there we go I'm, I'm happy with that one takes us to 45% of ownership in this company um, and we'll go for the calm person next very good that takes us up to 48% and then we've only got these uh, three people to deal with and then there's the stock exchange. So let's see if we can get ourselves above 50% at least. Um, we do have some interesting traits here though. And the, pro the share prices are very high. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be quite a bit of work and it's going to be very expensive for us to, to buy out these companies. 200 and something mil. Um, let's go for a compromise. If I can get it anywhere near here, I'm happy. Let's compromise again. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. But maybe this time, no. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not agreeing there. So we'll have to agree to disagree. And we'll see if our etiquette prevents us from becoming enemies. And it has. So that's very good. Thank you very much, sir. But not today. Um... I guess I'll just try some the next person. So, uh, market stake price two hundred twenty eight mil. Let's uh, let's give this a go, tenant. And it's going to take us a little bit of uh, a little bit of work to properly. Uh, look, I'm going to have to insist there. Oh, this isn't good because. If I compromise, I'm compromising way too much. Um, this person's a bit harder to deal with, but that is exactly what I'm looking for. So that's very, very good. That takes us up to 61%. Um, uh, now, so 1.81k. Uh, How much is in the bank now? 724 mil, which is ridiculous. Can I take the work plan? down to zero and apply that and just spend some influence here just so that they agree with me just so that I don't anger them um, so now the company is losing money does that affect the price there I'm going to refuse that Let's uh, carry on again. Oh no, too many things. I don't like all these pop-ups. Um, and I, I'm aware that I'm missing out on buying houses and stuff. And 
Yeah, new CEO there. Let's take this one. Uh, what increasing workplaces? Yeah, very good. Yeah, we'll go over to the next quarter and see what happens. It might might have caused an error. Okay, so the the profit margin is currently a, an error number, which is maybe not the best approach. Um, what's happened here then? <laughs> so. so uh, okay. Right. Not not too sure what's happened. Um, let's spend some money on a, co a company expansion. Uh, I think we'll all agree to this. I know I don't need them to get the vote through, but I don't want to anger them, like I said. Um that's brought the share price down a little it's not fantastic but it's brought the share price down a little let's have a look at uh where we're we going let's have a look at our main company again no wrong state come on no that's also the wrong state there we go let's have a look at stonefall of trust pa1 and have a look at what i've got in reserve 130 mil so what i'm going to do is i'm going to issue stocks um, I want this to be about 600 thereabouts that is probably fine 596 mil uh, so I'll accept that fantastic and as it said there's now 727 mil in reserve which is great um, that puts this at a 5.5 bill company which is just absolute insanity. But let's, uh, yeah, let's go back over here to tenant. And we will, I mean, we affected the share price a little and I'm a bit worried about this profit margin being a zero, but <laughs> let's, uh, let's try and do a deal here. Ah, Cause look how expensive that is, 617 mil. What we need to do is, um, get this down quite considerably because I'm, I'm not paying this much and uh, we, we could end up falling out over this because she's asking an awful lot of cash I can compromise but this is a huge margin I think I think I'm happy to pay a little over and take us up to there and then we've just got to get this uh, this guy to sell his shares as well um, for a company and then we've got to deal with the shareholders which might be a problem might not uh, let's insist see what happens I'm gonna go for a compromise here just so we don't increase the risk of irritation and I will compromise again hopefully he'll move towards us somewhat and I think that's probably fine. Again, we're paying a little over the odds, but it'll be okay. Fantastic. So let's check where we're at now. Because I wasn't keeping track, and I probably should have been. So we're at 400 mil. Okay. So we've got 400 mil to spend in the stock exchange. I can't do any fraud yet. Um, I could probably issue, get another strike on the go. Um, yeah possibly uh, but right we've got this stock exchange we need to buy from uh, there was a bunch of cash in reserve here 703 mil so I think it's probably a good idea to issue a buyback of shares so we're going to do that uh, yeah we're going to do that we're going to vote for it and then we'll see where that puts us. So there's only 1% of the shares in the company now, which is good. I think probably the um, the value of the company is probably plummeted uh, right now. If we have a look at the, the list here. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. It's because all, it was being artificially inflated by the amount of money they had in reserve. So the company was well overvalued uh, just because of the reserves there. 
but that's fine. Now we can go into the stock exchange and we can buy up um, the rest of the, the company, which is just great. And then, um, well, I can't change this work plan yet. I don't know when I'll be able to. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's wait a bit. Is it going to allow me? I don't think it's going to allow me to change the work plan back. I think, even though I did spend money on an expansion there, I might have to do some merging. And I'm quite happy to do merging in this state. Let's sort it by workers. Tenant does have the most workers. Um, I'm just a, a little wary about this weird profit margin thing. So I'm going to I'm gonna do it from this one here. We'll do a merger with tenant. Uh, it will be a merger. I don't need to do a takeover. Merger is fine. Um, and we will keep the super, um, super CEO. Uh, all of this is absolutely fine. So we'll do that. Very good. Yes, everybody agrees. Everybody always agrees. Uh, so, yeah. This is this one now. And then I'll do it again. <laughs> Uh, can I do multiple at a time? I'm not sure I can. Uh, yeah, so yeah, let's just let's just do lots of merging. I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll definitely end up with the best CEO this way as well. Okay, and this is the last one that we need to uh, do a merger on. Um, at which point I might actually change the name if I can. Let's call it. Um, I don't know. Stonefaller oil co <laughs> something like that doesn't really matter it might get changed it might just uh, <laughs> it might just turn into uh, into trust ny1 when uh, <laughs> when we when we join the the trust again so uh, yeah might, might, might be for nothing but that should be it now so all of the uh, all of the oil companies in this state should now be merged which they are so that's very good um market cap 467 mil so it was definitely not meant to be a billion dollar company not by the looks of it um but let's let's have a look at how this is going we will now increase the work plan right up to 200 percent um there's a healthy 61 mil in reserve so dividend rate of 90 percent is absolutely fine uh, research rate will keep where it is. Uh, I'll increase workers up to the maximum. Very good. Um, and worker rate, I might even reduce it. But not that much. Uh, maybe I will. I, I don't want to pay them nothing. I'll pay them 306 which is fine and we'll have to deal with any strikes and stuff if they come up um, I will go for an expansion which will cost 12 mil but that's fine although this place probably doesn't need an expansion uh, and I will pop it into the cartel as well so that's at 43.2 uh, 43 mil um, and then if we jump over here plonk it into the cartel that takes us up to 165 mil. So very good indeed. Okay, so I've noticed that the governor here uh, in New York, he, he wants a credit, which is normally quite an easy thing to fulfill, especially when I've got 52 mil in the bank. He says it's a doable ambition as well. So let's uh, let's have a look here if that's uh, if that's the case. 162 thou. Yeah, we can definitely definitely do that. Let's uh, agree to that. Now, what does he want? He wants to acquire shares in a coal mining company. Okay. So he's looking for 0.26% uh, of Harris Coal. So where is that based? Alabama. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? Right, Harris Cole in Alabama. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go to Alabama, I suppose. Okay, we are in Alabama. So we're going to go to Harris Cole. 
Um, and we're just going to buy some shares here, I suppose. Let's look for the uh, cheapest guy. There we go. Um, he actually wants to sell uh, shares in Harris Coal. Um, I'll do it for myself. I'm just going to buy a bunch of them, I guess. May as well. Um, we don't really need uh, any coal company shares, but uh, I may as well do it. I'll insist on the price. We'll see what we can see what, what we can get. Do a bit of a compromise. Hopefully this guy doesn't get irritated. He has got irritated. That is that is annoying. So we might make an enemy out of this. That would be annoying, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, we have failed the deal, and we made an enemy. <laughs> Oh no! Tr when trying to make trying to make friends with the governor, and we we make an enemy instead, that isn't ideal. Let's try the next guy. How about you, my friend? Um, uh, for myself, I can't remember how many shares the governor wanted, which is why I'm just chucking a bunch of money at it. Um, I'm probably buying way more shares than I need. I'm going to insist on the price here. Hopefully, I don't just make lots of enemies everywhere I go. <laughs> which is quite possible there we go there's, there's below asking price we'll just take that very good indeed um, and I might because I've learnt my lessons from previous uh, previous attempts uh, I will send a spiritual guide his way and just see if we can prevent that from becoming a proper pain in my side we will try and buy the original copy of the constitution because that sounds like a pretty good idea to me and we have managed to do that, so I'm very happy with that one. Uh, we should probably have to increase our reputation. Yes, yeah, so we've lost a rep, so I'm going to look in the person search uh, for somebody who wants a credit. And yeah, that's quite an easy credit. Oh, hang on. It needs to be a available state. <laughs> so what about this one? 43,000, that's fine as well. So ambition and agree, uh, and that gets that gets our hat back, which is very nice. Um, I always like having a good number of hats. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got to wait just a short while to see if that succeeds. Um, I'm not going to do whatever that one is. Uh, oh gosh, what's this? Um, yes, let's approve the initiative. Why not? I don't mind. We will agree to what our CEO is telling us. And let's see if the uh, the bishop does his work. And he has. Which is great. Because that guy now isn't angry with us. Which I'm very happy with. Um, I don't know whether to... I don't think there's any oil production in this state at all. No. We, we just have our shares in Harris Coal here. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm just going to head back to... Back to... Uh, New York State. I'm going to take the time out though to buy this uh, painting. So I think it's always a good idea to buy paintings when you've got the opportunity to do so. Uh -huh, looking good. I think this one's going in the hallway. And we're back in New York State so now we can go to the governor and fulfill his ambition. Which is very good and that means he can become a green governor which is very nice indeed now hopefully I'll have to look at how much uh, influence it's going to cost but yeah we should be able to do a government contract that's going to cost us uh, a lot of influence is that 359,000 influence to get a government contract that is incredible let's, um, let's check this so that's at 164 mil at the moment let's uh, let's do grants, which I think is for government contracts. So that increases the value of them. And then let's let's try again here and see if we can get this government contract. So I'm going to go for it. We're having having lunch here with the governor. Oh, and it doesn't quite doesn't quite work, which is annoying. So I think we've just then wasted all of our uh, wasted all of our influence we can do an information war 
we have a, an available journalist. So how long is this locked for now? Uh, this is locked until October the 18th, 1882. Uh, and we, we won't have any influence anyway. So there's not a lot I can do there. What I will do, I suppose, is I'll buy all of these uh, renowned increasing buildings in the state. Because um, I think that's a, that's a good idea. Very good indeed. We have spent a bunch of cash, but I think that's fine. Uh, we still need to get our, our rep up, but I think I need to wait for another quarter to do that. Um, we'll see if our, our journalist does any good. We don't want to expose the governor for corruption. Oh, which looks like that might be the case. We have lost a reputation. Um, so again, I'm going to have to issue a, a loan to somebody who needs a credit. Uh, it's an expensive business, so all of this... Uh, I'm not in Alabama anymore. No, I'm not. Only available states. Um, what's your credit? 37 grand. That's fine. So we'll do this one. Get our hat back. <laughs> did, I, did I not lose a hat? I thought I lost a hat. I oh, know, apparently I didn't lose a hat. Okay, I just gave it a loan for no reason. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're not going to be able to do anything uh, in New York State at the moment. So, uh, and I think this is an entirely new governor, right? <laughs> Corruption scandal broke out. Yeah, in the state of New York, journalist uh, Carl Haynes, Haynes Hayes exposed corruption. Governor, whoever it is, abused his position. He was reportedly involved in corruption by John Stonefaller. Oh dear. The official has already resigned and has been replaced by Brian Hayes. That's annoying. Um, it didn't work. The scandal was exposed and uh, we didn't get what we needed. So we went through the rigmarole of befriending a governor for no reason. <laughs> which, is, which is annoying, but what are you going to do? Uh, that uh, st state government contract would, be, would have been very lucrative for us. Um... And in fact, it might be worth uh, having a look over the border here um, to see what we could do. So he wants uh, <laughs> he wants coal shares as well. When's the election? Uh, a couple of years time. OK, so he wants some coal shares for Ace Coal, wherever they're based. Um, da -da -da -da, Alabama. <laughs> OK, Ace Coal in Alabama. Fantastic. Um, I might leave that for the minute because uh, otherwise I'll just be going backwards and forwards from Alabama all the time. And uh, and, and we don't need to do that. <laughs> it's not part of our objective. What is part of our objective is to get up to 80% of the current oil production in the USA. We're currently at 35%. I think we were about 40% uh, a bit earlier on, but that's dropped quite significantly. I don't know why exactly it's dropped, but it has. Um, so yeah, there's there's clearly work that needs to be done. This feels a bit tough. <laughs> the main quest, getting to a billion, easy peasy. <laughs> Controlling 8% of the oil production hasn't been quite so easy. We have managed to uh, successfully overtake uh, or, or control all of the oil production in New York State, uh, but there's so much more for us to do. Um, so oil production, yeah, loads of places. Now, I wonder if the green reflects the amount of oil being produced rather than the number of oil companies. I can't tell. Um, here so hmm. I'm not sure there's going to be a way that I can easily tell um, we might want to jump over to Ohio and just check that out um, I might have a look there real quick and see so there, there are a whole bunch of oil companies here as well one two three four five uh, six seven oil companies in Ohio so, uh, and what's the size of the um, businesses? Actually, not huge. Not huge. Uh, can I see how much uh, production there is? I'm not sure if I can. 
market share, profit margin. No, I don't know. If you know, <laughs> if there's an easy way for me to figure this stuff out, let me know. Um, I don't think there is. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll basically move on and start buying up all of these oil companies as well. But I think I'm going to do that in the next episode. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much to everybody who has liked, followed, subscribed, all of the wonderful stuff that you're doing. Uh, we're very close at the time of recording, very close to getting to 500 subscribers. So, very excited uh, for that to happen. Hopefully, you'll be the, fi the 500th. That would be pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, th uh, thanks. It's great. <laughs> Are definitely encouraging me to continue to make these videos and i do love the comments keep the comments coming um so yeah like comment subscribe all of that wonderful stuff and until next time goodbye